Hello guys, good afternoon. So for today's session, I got uh, 10 questions and with these 10 questions, we are going to chat, chat with chat GPT. Uh, we are going to practice with chat GPT. It is going to be very good session, very interesting session because these questions are very basic. Often we go anywhere or when we talk with someone who is new uh, so that person always ask from where are you uh, what do you do when you when you like uh, in your spare time something like that question these are very basic for your conversation it helps you to be fluent in english also will give you a kind of energy or motivation to speak more daily so without wasting time let's get started Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How's your day going so far? Well, everything was fine. It's been raining since morning here. And I went to school there. I did nothing. But I enjoyed a lot in, in rain. And uh, I was wet there. It was fantastic day, I can say. That sounds like a wonderful day. There's something special about enjoying the rain. Nothing. Do you like rainy weather in general? Yes, I love rain. And uh, there is nothing special in rain, but the view was so fantastic. Uh, when I was in a school, the ground was looking so green. And uh, you can understand the green, the greenery always fascinates us and uh, the drizzling there. And uh, I was making the videos having fun in rain and I danced with my friends uh, uh, in the playground so it was a lot of kind of fun. That sounds amazing. Dancing in the rain with friends must have been a blast. Do you often have such fun moments at school? Yeah, I often get some time in a school when I when our principal allow there to have some fun so we do these kinds of stuff uh, something like crazy stuff which we enjoy a lot that's great to hear having a principal who encourages fun activities must make school a lot more enjoyable what other fun activities do you like to do with your friends uh, other activities like uh, playing game with them sometime or talking nonsense making fun of uh, another one person in the in group uh, and uh, watching movies with them uh, and especially having food with them it is the most important part of our group that we always snatch uh, things from each other and uh, the way we behave like wild animals so it is just a crazy thing we enjoy a lot That sounds like a really fun and close-knit group. Sharing food and joking around must make for some memorable moments. Do you have a favorite game or movie that you all enjoy together? Uh, for watching purpose, I love to watch cricket. But uh, for playing, uh, there is no exact um, like exact game I have. I can say whatsoever we get according to time, we enjoy. We Cricket is a great choice, especially if you're passionate about it. It's nice that you're flexible with games and just go with the flow. Do you have a favorite cricket team or player? Of course, I'm Indian, so basically my India team is my favorite team. Our, and recently we got 20 World Cup, we won. So it's a kind of happiness. Uh, I'm so happy. That's fantastic. Winning the World Cup is a huge achievement. Celebrating that victory must have been a lot of fun. Exactly. Do you have a favorite player on the Indian team? Yeah, of course. Yeah. In Indian team, Virat Kohli is my favorite. And other players are also my favorite. And uh, I also love other countries' uh, players from South Africa, um, AB De Villiers, and uh, another Mm, Decock, these are my favorite players. It used to be, and uh, I can say from Australia there are many like uh, Watson 
and Mitchell Johnson, Mitchell Stark. So these are also my favorite. Those are some great choices. Virat Kohli and A.B. de Villiers are incredible players. It's awesome that you appreciate talent from different teams. Do you have a favorite match or moment from any of these players? Uh, not a kind of a favorite moment, but I remember that uh, the game with Bangladesh where we won at the last moment because of the Dhoni, not because of the Dhoni, everyone played well, but uh, there was a, a new player there that was Mustafizur Rahman. He was a different kind of bowler. He was new to, so no one knows his uh, his action, the bowling he did. So at the time, he was taking a lot of wicket uh, in a single match. Uh, only he was the greatest bowler in, in that time uh, from Bangladesh team. So the way we won, it was so incredible. It was night time around 11, 30 and 12. And I was on my bed when we won. I jumped from uh, my bed and I was dancing. So it was the best moment for my life. That sounds like an unforgettable moment. Winning in such a dramatic way must have been thrilling. It's great that you have such vivid and joyful memories tied to cricket. Do you often stay up late to watch matches? Yeah, of course. That's dedication. Watching late night matches can be really exciting. Is there a particular tournament or series you look forward to the most each year? Um, can we go on our today's topic for which uh, I came here? Absolutely. What would you like to discuss or explore further today? Um, okay, so for today's actually I am an English learner. I came here to practice English with you. Or uh, I have few questions. Uh, I have nine to ten questions, and I will tell you those questions. You will have to just ask me one by one. I will answer. You will not speak more. I will speak more because it's my practice session. So basically, I need to speak more. Got it. Feel free to ask your questions, and I'll prompt you one by one so you can practice speaking okay, more. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Let's get started first, whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm going to tell you first five question, letter five question. It is okay? Sure. Go ahead whenever you're ready. Okay, so the question number one is what is your favorite way to relax after a long day? Question number two, do you prefer spending time indoors or outdoors? Question number three, what is one skill? you would like to learn question number four do you enjoy watching movies uh, sorry do you enjoy watching tv shows or movies more what kind of and last question what kind of books do you like to read great let's start with question number one what is your favorite way to relax after a long day after a, after a long day, I love to enjoy by watching movies or any other story kind of show and reading books. It helps me to unwind and uh, to stay away from negativity and uh, like forget about the stress of the day. That sounds like a relaxing way to unwind. Now, question number two. Do you prefer spending time indoors or outdoors? I mostly prefer outdoors, uh, especially at my roof. I love to spend time at my roof because my house is surrounded by greenery. And uh, I love to enjoy at my roof when I am surrounded by green area. It, uh, um, like, uh, it feels refreshing and to be like, uh, it feels refreshing and the fresh air always helps me to uh, forget my stress it helps me to unwind and the view is so uh, pure and gentle which, uh, which always give me positive vibes so I uh, prefer outdoors spending time outdoors on your roof surrounded by greenery sounds wonderful now question number three what is one skill you would like to learn 
uh, actually i have three skills that i would i to learn and this is very difficult to choose one so i would like to tell you all three uh, all three uh, skills that uh, i want to learn uh, skill number one is uh, public speaking number two is the photography number three is editing i always admire people who are photographers editors and public speakers and uh, photography and editing is uh, would not be that much difficult in comparison of public speaking if i'll get chance in my future so definitely i would like like to learn all these three it's great to have such diverse interests and skills now moving on to question number 4 yeah, sure. do you enjoy watching tv shows or movies more or uh, can you speak that question again sure do you prefer watching tv shows or movies more oh uh, yeah actually i enjoy both but it depends on my time too uh when i get a lot of time so i would like to watch a uh, tv series and uh, if i don't have a lot of time so i'll go uh, for a uh, movie side and i love to watch web series also i love to follow the character and uh, like uh, um like story time for a long period it uh, totally kind of fun that makes sense now for the last question what kind of books do you like to read uh always non fiction actually uh, i read many books till now or it always helped me to uh, be positive the motivation the deep meaning always help me to positive in my life and it always motivate me towards my goal to achieve my dream and uh, to be positive and always uh, it help me always to stay away how, like how can i stay away from negative negativity that's great non fiction books with deep meaning and motivation can be very inspiring they help you stay positive and focused on achieving your goals it's wonderful that reading has such a positive impact on you yeah now i can tell you uh, last five questions now sure go ahead with the next set of questions whenever you're ready okay so uh, the question number 6 is what is your favorite holiday and why Number seven. What kind of exercise do you enjoy? Number eight. What is one place you would love to visit? Number nine. Do you prefer reading physical books or e-books? Number ten. What is your favorite childhood memory? Let's start with question number six. What is your favorite holiday and why? My favorite holiday is Eid. It comes after thirty days of Ramzan. The Ramzan month is quite difficult, especially in summer, because of the thirst. And we play. We all Muslim uh, play and perform uh, in a good manner. All the fast. And after thirty days of fasting, the, when this day come, we celebrate with a different kind of glow on our faces. It brings families. and friends together or the uh, the festival the festive decoration delicious food and the spirit of giving make uh, it is a very special time of the year eid sounds like a beautiful holiday filled with joy and togetherness now question number 7 what kind of exercise do you enjoy Mm, actually uh, i enjoy yoga because it combines both physical and mentally Ment- uh, mindfulness and uh, uh, um, like it helps me to stay flexible and strong uh, while also reducing um, negativity and uh, um, promoting relaxation so yoga yoga is a great choice for overall wellness and relaxation now question number 8 What is one place you would love to visit? I would love to visit Kashmir. There are some places there which is uh, which I like most that is the lake Sonmarg, Palgam or Srinagar, Gulmarg. These are the places you always uh, uh, got in my Insta feed too. And if I'll get chance, so I would like to visit these all places in Kashmir. 
Kashmir sounds like a breathtaking destination with its beautiful landscapes. Now, question number nine: Do you prefer reading physical books or e-books? Of course, physical books because it always um, attracts me to turning uh, turning the page, the smell of new books. It totally a kind of love and um, uh, like it. It is more tactful and uh, enjoyable experience for me. So basically, physical books. Can you ask me the last question? Hello. There is some issue, I think. Let's try again. Hello. Hello. How can I assist you today? Uh, actually, you were asking me ten questions. You have completed nine. One more last question we have. You would have to ask me. Do you remember that question, or I need to tell you now? Oh, I apologize for the oversight. Please go ahead and tell me the last question. Uh, what is your favorite childhood memory? That is the last question you would have to ask me. Certainly. What is your favorite childhood memory? The favorite childhood memory is visiting Ajmer. Uh, that was the best tour of my life, and we visited uh, Anasagar, Taragar, Dhaidin Ka Jhopra, and Sarwar Sharif. These these were the most beautiful places in Ajmer. It was my family time. We knew uh, we, uh, because of this trip, we knew each other very well. We spent time together. We ate together. It uh, usually not happens when we are at home. Sometimes my dad come at and my dad my dad come late. Sometimes uh, the because of hunger. Sometimes other issues. So uh, it was a precious time of my life that we enjoyed together. That sounds like a wonderful and meaningful trip with your family. Cherishing those moments together must hold a special place in your heart. It's great to have such fond memories of spending quality time with loved ones. Yeah. Okay. So it's uh, like uh, now I, it's enough for today uh, for speaking practice because we have completed our ten questions. So goodbye. Goodbye. It was great chatting with you and practicing English together. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day too. So I think, guys, you have watched complete uh, session with Chaddi Pretty. It was a great session. Uh, I. Um, and now if you are going to ask me that from where i got this uh, 10 question uh, uh, before this session i used to take all question from google but now uh, i am not finding a lot of questions which i can practice so i took this question all, uh, from chat gpt2 and practice with chat gpt2 so if you guys learn something or get any kind of motivations just like share and subscribe